It's finally here, the supernatural year. PBN brings to view the month of January, the supernatural doorway. Coming to you daily at 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. and streaming live every night at 8 p.m. for Seek My Face with Man of God, Carl Mead. Pray, the doorway to the supernatural. Yes, you have the Holy Spirit. All the years you have churches, you have you have ministries, you're doing ministry. You're supposed to gather up information that attracts you to God's secret place. And that is what I've been doing. My wife and I, we are still working on this thing here because God has brought us into his secret place. And I thank God for what he has done. He brought some folks in my life who is connected to the secret place. And they introduced me some great stuff. Like Fred Price. These guys in them, they show me, you know, Noel Jones, all the, they show me how the area of God's secret is. T.D. Jakes, all these guys. And I, I watch these guys walk and move. But God said, Carl, I want you to be different. I don't want you to be like anybody is be like who I make you because God wants to take me on a level because he knows this pandemic is upon the earth and many of us right now we are trying to go back to the norm but I come the Lord says I have come down to manifest my power I'm going in their homes in their schools in, in you know, the taxis the cars on the airplane on the ships all over the world God says he's going inside of us. He's coming to show off. Wherever God wants to show off, because God knows what he's doing. And God's timing is not my timing. That's why God crashed my car all these years. Four years ago, he crashed my car. He keep me around for this time. Because God knows he wants to move in the supernatural. But to get God to move, you have to seek God's face. And many of us understand that to see God's face now and then you don't see God's face no one then you see God's face continually since I've found God and have the Holy Spirit I've been seeking God's face consistently even though I may fall short make a mistake here do a wrong thing here I always stay in the line I hold that rope I stay active with God I have never even give up God because why I know with God when you hold God you, you must let go and when you hold God God and you hold God, he will not let go. And God says, I say the earth is, is his own. In, in Psalm 24, verse 1, he said, The earth is his own and the fullness thereof. Well, if God can earn 
can own the earth. Well, and I'm in the earth. I'm in the fullness. And once you're in the fullness, you belong to God. So don't run from God. Run to God. And many people have run from God all their life and trying all those of me and, and tricks and what God says, I am. He says, the world is mine and the fullness thereof. When I read that psalm, he said, God said, Lord, he said, call everything that in the world belongs to me. So if God said that, that means whatever God in the world, God knows. He knows your ins and your comings. He knows your out and your going. God knows. He sees and he can show. He is a God of power and wisdom. And he is a God of everything. You don't know the power of God, but God says in 2020, I'll, I'll be coming down and I will show the world who I really at. We are no match for God. If God wants, He can sing this world. He is the creator of this world. He says, The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. When I read that scripture, I say, Wow, I want to be a part of God's world. But to be a part of God's world, you have to understand the secret place and the secret things, and the spirit must take you there. You cannot get in God's secret place with all the Holy Spirit. Don't try it. You cannot get in God's secret place with all the Holy Spirit. He is the road and the route to everything God have. And I thank God tonight. Many men around the world, Africa, Rhodesia, China, they have great men of God who have experienced God's secret place. But the Lord says when you come in there, you have to be connected to his supernatural things. And God wants to come down and when God comes down he will make sure he will use you and he will bless you he will touch you and many will fall he says it he says here clearly 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 that a, a thousand will fall at your left hand and ten thousand on your right hand but nothing shall come near you when I read this kind of thing so I say hey I've got to have confidence in God when you when God says I'm a thousand will fall at my left hand and ten them what I said, well, then if they're falling, that means God has to keep me up. He has to prop me, hold me up. If God tell me in Psalm 91, a thousand will fall. Well, if a thousand will fall at my right hand, that means I have to depend on God in the morning time. Depend on God in the night time. Depend on God in the daytime. Everything I do, I have to depend on God. Because he says the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. A thousand will fall. I thank God. I am one of a thousand. Many has died in this pandemic time, but God says I have a crowd card about to pull forth upon the earth. He said, I have thousands right now. They're about to stand strong. Are you one? Are you one? God said, I have thousands about to rise up with, with new and fresh anointing. He said, I will come in a fresh form, a, a fresh walk. He said, the those things of old. He said, God, I will not come in the old things. I will come with the same God with a new move. And God is saying, I will come. I will bring a new move. And that's why I believe. It says, Hebrews right now, a new and living way. And many of us, we don't want that new way. We don't what God said, I don't care what they want. I will make a way in the desert. I said, He said, I will make a way in the sea. I will make a way where there is nowhere. I will make a highway. And I thank God right now. He come down here. And God said, I in case they call, they ain't see nothing yet. I have earthquakes, I have storms, I have hurricanes, I have sickness, I have disease, I have movement. I can shut the whole world down without the understanding. If they seek my face, I will turn things around. I will the life around this the way of life around. When you're gonna seek God's face, and I thank God that there is a people right now around the whole, not just Trinidad, all of the islands of the Caribbean, Africa. A movement has started, and there are men and women of God seeking God's face, not for cars and house and money and building, but they will seek God's face to find out what is the next move of God. I found out many men of God 
don't know what God is doing them, but they know what the scientist is doing them. They know what WHO is doing them. They know what the government is doing. They know, but they don't know what God is doing. If you know what God is doing, that means you've got to be a part of God's supernatural. It's when the natural give up, when the natural surrender, when the natural realize they are weak, they have no power. They have, the natural have no force. It have no right. It have no dimension. The natural is empty. The natural, the, the natural is no good. The natural is no good. It's earthly and devilish. But when the super come down, it's the, it's the whole God. It's God the Father and God the Son and the Holy Ghost. When they come down, and fuck, he's here. He, he, he joined all those who are natural. But to be natural, you got to be in that secret place. When you, when you, when you live there, Psalm 91 says, he says, I will have angels over you. I will give angel charge. You know, much of us right now have charge with angels and don't know it was sent by God. Or oh, have charge over all our, 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 our children, our husbands, our wives. And we don't even know it was sent by God. But it says the earth is the Lord's and the fullness of I want to hold that up. And if the earth is God's own and the fullness of that means all the money you have is all, all the cars you have. All the land you have is yours. Oh, it's not yours, brother. It's God own. And God can give it to you and take it back from you. Oh, the life you have, the breath you breathe, the breath you breathe, brother, is not yours. Oh, the heart that beat boop boop with blood is not your heart. It's God move. And when God move, He move all by Himself. He don't need approval. He don't need a summons. He don't need nothing. When God move, if God come after you, you can run back and hide. I thank God the enemy knows how powerful our God is. That's why there are some people say, touch not my anointing and do no harm. When you're anointed, they can't touch you. When you hear God anoint you, no weapon that comes against you prosper. They will come in, oh, they can't prosper. Every weapon that comes is natural. But I thank God today, the super is here. When the super comes, it moves you. You live right, you walk right, you talk right, you repent, you laugh, you're happy. When that super is coming, it emerges you into a higher level, a higher place of God, higher ways. You can't want to be the supernatural and want to submit to government. Submit to scientists, submit to the politicians. You can submit when you are part of a super, you submit to God and for God alone, let us submit to. When God comes, He wants total surrender. He don't want to mix it. God don't mix the thing. He, he, he don't share. He is God of Himself. He wants to give you right. That's why I need to be around people right now who is God centered in here. I don't want no people who play a game with God because we, we are dying like flies. We are dying every day. Many are dying and don't know why. You like, like, like in the rapture start, like the rapture came, many are dying and going. We don't know how and where. They are being buried like flies. We don't know. A move is going to be thousands that die and don't know why they die. Because why? God is coming down and God is here. And that's why if my people, he says here last night, oh, Chronicles 7 verse 14, if my people, which are called, which are called, Call by my name. Hey, hey, if my people which are called by my name, I tell you, I don't know who called you, I don't know what name you have, I don't know the name you are carrying, or you may be a, a Pentecostal, maybe a Catholic, a, a Baptist, a Adventist, a Mormon, a, a, you know, you know, you, you, that's your name. But I thank God, the name God is wanting is those who understand El Shaddai, those who understand Elohim, those who understand Rafa, those who understand. The supernatural God, if my people, which are by my name, not Jehovah God alone, is lover, is father, is all name. You have got to know which name works for you. But my name is Jehovah. I thank God. He is the God Jehovah Tiskinu. He is the only real God. He shows off and shows up. We, if you are called you by God's name, then you are a child of the most high God. But for God to call you by his name. You must know Jesus Christ. You must come in. He said, I am the door. I said, no man can go to the Father but by me. He said, I am the way.
way and Christ opened clearly to us. He opened the way. That's the door. And sometimes we want to bypass Christ and pass through the back door or the window and come inside. You can't come inside. If my people, which are called, did God call you? Many are called, but few are chosen. Did God call you? If God call you, he will choose you. And when God choose you, you'll understand the earth is the laws and the fullness thereof. I know somebody right now, they want to write why I'm sick, why I'm hell. But God is a miracle God. He's, he, he can heal you right where you are with nobody going to touch hands. Nobody can pray for you and God can touch you. He can bless you in darkness. He's the God of, he's the uncommon God. You can't box God. You can't control God. You can't say what God will do and what God will do. God can do whatever he wants. All things work for God. I don't know what you do, but everything God do, he's right. God never go wrong. When God crashed my car, I said, why me? He said, why me? He said, I'll make you. I'll make you. I'll make you. And when God make you, the devil can't take you. You belong to God. If my people, which are called by my name, what is that name, my brother? Oh, Pentecostal, or Mormon, or Muslim, Hindu, or Catholic. What is that name? That name is Jehovah Jireh. Oh, the provider. He provides for those. If my people, which are called, did God call us? I pray right now. He will call from the east. He will call from the west, north, south. Line up. Be ready right now. Go in the word. Listen, God will hit your knees. Seek God's face. If my people who, who can seek my face, I thank God tonight. We're going whole month every night. I will tell you what God wants. He wants us to seek his face. Oh, somebody right now, they, they sleep easy. Or they watch TV all night. Or they watch, they watch Netflix. And they have a remote control. Control. And they will seek TV more. They will seek WhatsApp more. They will seek the thing more. But they will seek God now and then. But when you want to be in God's supernatural, you're going to seek God consistently. You can't slow down. You can't slow up. Even if you're driving in your mind, you're eating in your mind. Whatever you go, you must seek God on the inside. Don't seek God outside. Seek God from the inside out. You're going to walk with God. You're going to talk with God. Believe God. If my people People which are called by my name. I don't know what name you have. Oh, yeah. uh, I'm, I'm a pastor. I'm an evangelist. I'm a prophet. I'm a teacher. Yeah, that don't work with God. God wants those who Holy Ghost fill and understand heaven, understand kingdom, understand the earth. Have nothing good at all. It is set in the world. The earth is full of flesh. It's my people which are called. Where did God call you from? What are you doing so bad that God can't call you? Oh, God can call thief. God call anybody rapers. They call murderers. God can change politicians to beggars. God can change police to, to fake beggars. God can change pimps to preachers. God can change a liar to talk truth. God can change a whore to be a, a, home, a housewife. God can change anybody. Why? But they must be called with if my people, which are called when God call you. Oh, he say, Elisha! Elijah, Elisha say, hey, I'm coming. And he left with him and walk with God. You need to walk when God call you. Drop all the weight. Drop with heavy and move with God. Because God, he has life. He's the author of life and death. And somebody understand that you and your God people, you have to look to that call. That call is there. That call you have to understand. Some folks say I had a dream. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get baptized. It don't work so. When God calls you, is that inside pain. You have an inside passion. You can't leave God. When God calls you from the inside out, not to get baptized alone. When God calls you, He'll call you so clearly. You'll put down mommy. You'll put down daddy. You'll put down brother, sister. You'll put down boss. You'll put down company. You'll put down work. Put on money and come before God. Because when God calls you, He make all for you, reservation for you. He reserve everything you want to have. There are things that God don't want to have, you can't come with it. There are places that God don't want to be, you can't go there. And the people you must cut off, you must cut off. When God calls you, He sanctifies you. He renew your mind. He gives you hope and understanding. I thank God tonight. He has called me. If my people which are called by my name, by my name, by my name, 
put down the tag. Don't say I'm a Catholic. I'm a Pentecostal. Don't say that at all. Remember with this, no. Don't call, don't say God won't deal with names. He deal with our people. And the people called Ecclesia is that people who understand that the church and that church, not a local church, not an organization, that church is the church of the international world where everybody who understand Christ and understand God and they call and don't belong to this clique and that clique and that clique and I'm a cross here and I'm not so and we are so God can call you. When God call you, you understand humanity. You understand pain. You understand purpose. You understand play. You know you need to plan your ways. When God call you, you have an assignment to love. Love is the fulfillment. You all just what they can love, they love what they believe. Oh, I am a sour keeper. Oh, I don't eat this meat. I don't go here. I don't make any clothes. I'm a tight pants. I, no, when God call you, He wants the inside. He wants your mind justified. He wants you to glorify God. I thank God when He called me. I thank God. I can say, Yes, Lord, if my people which are called by my name, what is the name that you have with God? What name that God gives to you? How do you call God Father? How do you call God God? How do you call God Elijah? How do you call God? How do you really call the God who called you? Do you know the God who called you? When God calls you, you go through suffering. He says, suffering in this time cannot be compared to the glory which will be revealed in us. I thank God. Some call to suffer and some call to rule. Some call to praise and some call to sing. But, we, but the call must be of God. When God calls you, you stand out. There is no way God call you and you drop back and you pull aside and you're quiet. When God call you, you stand out. Why? When you stand out, you understand. When you stand out, you seek his face and you represent God. And when you stand out, you are part of God's supernatural. If my people which are called, did God call you? I pray tonight that God will turn you ever wrong. I pray tonight that somebody will hear the voice of God. Somebody will get touched by God. Somebody will move to God. Somebody will let go darkness and go to light. Somebody will find a way. Somebody will ready to run inside. Somebody will say, I ready God. Somebody will change. Somebody will be renewed. Somebody will say, Come on and say, I want God. Somebody will get stronger. Somebody will get more real. Somebody will know that you are part of a supernatural God. I don't know who I'm talking to. If my people which are called by my name my name what is the name God gives to you do you know the name of God oh God 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 no the God of Moses the God of Elijah the God of Samson God I want Abraham God I want Adam God I want more I don't want a God of darkness I want the God of light I want the God that don't sleep my God don't sleep he don't slumber my God is foolish he is stupid he knows your weakness he knows your strength you feel God don't know my weakness. You feel God don't know my strength. I can't hide from God. I don't walk with God. And when you walk with God, you will see God's face. When you see God's face, you are part of the supernatural. You no longer connect at all. And the enemy know he come like Job. Even they get boys, then go give up. If your wife kill you, then go give up. Your children dead, they give up at all. When your house gone, you hold on. Your animal gone, you hold on. Your car's gone, you hold on. <laughs> Your business gone, you hold on. You get sick, you hold on. What? Every you hold on because your flesh can be suffering, but your spirit can seek his face. Oh, here again. Your flesh can be suffering, but your spirit can seek his face. Your pocket can be empty, but your spirit can seek his face. Your mind has to be still on God. Once your mind on God, which you are part of people and you are called by his name. What's that name? What's that name, Jehovah? What's that name, God of darkness? What's that name, the holy God? Which God call you? How are you so sure God call you? Can you pray for five hours? Can you hit your knees and talk to God? Can you leave darkness? Can you give up money and, and forget buildings? And think you could have building and die. I know folks, a rich man just died last week and they told the doctor if he wanted a million dollar check, could, could I get that? But you don't dead. You can't give what you have after you're dead. 
you give it while you're alive. And you've got to know all this happens when you abide in God's supernatural. And in that supernatural, you have to understand it's a fresh day. You cannot put supernatural in a church building. God is not going back in buildings. He's going in the heart of people. He wants to control the inner man. He wants your soul. He wants you. He don't want in a building. He don't want to clap and dance it. He wants your attention to understand. You must understand the world is sinking, but you can stand strong. And thank God that if you want to happen to you, you must be in God's secret place. You must be connected to those who are going God's way. And you have to understand a supernatural and if you understand that you will seek his face you will never stop I don't care what you're going through all the broke you broke all your, 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 your building gone your car gone your house gone wife leave you how many of your children leave you you don't stop that seeking God's face and this, come on, you will know what it takes to seek God's face it's not going to church and clapping reading the Bible it's much more to see God's face, you will know tomorrow night. God bless you. And I say, you can't be here again. Remember this. It's a time of the supernatural with the natural encounter of the super. Much love. Much love.